Hey, what's up, guys? It's once again your favorite commentator here on YouTube. It is mp4podcast.com, and I got some spanking news. We finally know the release date of the Xbox One, and that is November 22nd. Now, this is going to be a week after the PlayStation uh, 4 launch, and that console is being released on November 15th, so it's a, a week later. This is actually pretty good for the Xbox because the Xbox is $500 where the PlayStation 4 is $400, and a lot of people are trying to get both consoles. Uh, a lot of people now are multi-console gamers. I mean, I know a lot of people that will have an Xbox and a PlayStation 3 as well. I have a 360, I got the PS3. I have the Wii, I have the Wii U. And, uh, you know, the Xbox One, it's a pretty, pretty expensive console. It's not the most expensive console. I think that would probably have to go to Neo Geo or the 3DO. Those were actually there is another console. I believe it costs around a thousand or two thousand dollars. And I'm going way, 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 way back in the 90s. It was made by Pioneer. Um, it was a Laserdisc uh, console kind of thingamajig. And it was like full motion video games, kind of like uh, Dragon's Lair and those types of things. But it was made by Pioneer. It really didn't take off that well. But anyway, I'm getting back on point. The Xbox One is $500. I think that extra week or so is going to help a lot of people save up the $500 they need to pick up their console. Now, this is for people who are only going to get an Xbox One or who are still saving. Also, for people who plan to get both consoles. You know, some people get in the PlayStation 4, some people, and then they're going to get an Xbox One because they got both, pre, uh, they got two pre order, one pre order for each console. Now, if you're a person who, I, I want to say this, maybe, like I talked to some people that said, oh, well, you know, they like the Xbox 360, but they go on PlayStation 4. I know some people who are, you know, they're Xbox, they get in the Xbox One and they wish, you know, they had enough money to get a PlayStation 4 or so on. This is what I say to these people. Take your console, sell it on eBay. I mean, you can probably sell it uh, right after the launch. They're probably going to be really uh, sold out. You know, you're not going to be able to get it any place. Sell it on eBay. Take that money, double it, and buy the other console that you couldn't not afford. So if you if you want an Xbox One, sell your PlayStation 4, get enough money, buy the Xbox One. If you want a PlayStation 4 and you got the Xbox One for your sell your Xbox One Take that extra money and buy the PlayStation 4. Have both consoles. Um, you know, I like both consoles. I mean, some games just feel better on the Xbox 360. Some games feel better on the PlayStation 3. And I'm not talking about exclusives. When it comes to first, uh, first person shooters, I like the Xbox better. I like how the analog uh, sticks are at a different uh, diagonal point. And when it comes to fighting fighting games, I prefer the D-pad on the PlayStation uh, PlayStation 3 over the Xbox 360. Now, I wouldn't say the Xbox 360 D-pad is the worst D-pad, but it's pretty crappy. It's kind of like the, it feels like there's something in the center of the D-pad where it doesn't it leans kind of weird. I don't know how to really explain it. Where the PlayStation uh, D-pad, it's much better. It feels solid. I mean, you know, if you want to pull off a move, it's very easy to pull off a move. It does feel a little bit on the tight side. I would say uh, the Nintendo Wii U has a much better, softer D-pad. But by no means is the um, the, the PlayStation 3 D-pad bad. I like the, the D-pad. I'm just i just saying I like Nintendo's D-pad more. But the Xbox 360 D-pad is horrible. I tried playing a couple of demos of, you know, fighting games with the analog stick. Yeah, you can play fighting games with the analog stick on the Xbox. Uh, a friend of mine who's a, a fighting fighting fan, he does buy all his fighting games on the Xbox 360, but he has that Street Fighter uh, pad that's made by Capcom, so he pretty much uses that. So there are alternatives for the Xbox 360, but I was just like, eh, I'm just going to get them for the uh, PS3 because, you know, uh, the, my controller ever breaks it's hundreds and hundreds of PlayStation 3 controllers so you know I'm not going to be SOL or anything like that but just thought you guys know let me know what you guys are going to get are you gonna, guys going to get both consoles do you guys only have one pre-order for one of these consoles um, would you consider selling your console um, 
you know, maybe you're like me, maybe you're going to wait until like springtime or so on. Because, you know, with these console launches, one of the problems is um, they have to make so many. These factories are working 24 7 and they're so busy that sometimes these workers, you know, may not install a part that, you know, that good. Maybe it's not soldered on correctly. And, you know, there's been problems with, um, I'm trying to think, the first PlayStation 1, I heard the belts were overheating or, you know, they had bad belts or the play, the original PlayStation 1 was overheating. And then after three months, Sony fixed it and then the PlayStation 1s were solid. Uh, the PlayStation 2s, I heard they were having some DVD drive problems where they wouldn't read the second layer. Where, where that became a problem with uh, San Andreas. And of course, the PlayStation uh, 360 with the Red Ring of Death. I'm on my third Xbox 360. So, you know, and then the PlayStation, the original, original PlayStations, they were saying to break down after two years. Mine lasted for about six years or so, so knock on wood. I had a pretty good Xbox, I mean, um, PlayStation 3 60 gig. And I really, really do miss that 60 gig. Because, um, you know, there's some PS2 games I still want to play. But anyway, guys, let me know what you guys are going to do this holiday with your console. So anyway, guys, have a good day. Take it easy. And I'm out. Bye.